Today for art, we are going to be continuing our learning about the famous Impressionist artist Claude Monet. Today we will learn how to create a landscape painting in the style of Claude Monet. Can I create a landscape in the style of a famous artist? Your steps to success are, I can explain that Monet painted lots of pictures outdoors. I can use bright colours to paint a landscape. I can mix colours and paint using my fingers. Now Monet moved to Giovanni in France in 1883, where he bought a big house with lots of land. Here, he spent lots of time painting the landscape with great pleasure of his garden. He created beautiful gardens, starting with lily ponds. He enjoyed painting his large garden in different seasons, not forgetting at different times of day. Because remember, Monet liked to paint the same thing many times to show how the light changed at different times of day. And he did this using different painting techniques and different colours. This is a picture of the bridge over the lily pond in his garden. Monet painted many a picture of this bridge. He painted hundreds of paintings of his garden. We're going to look at some of these paintings. And as we do, I'd like you to think about the colours that you can see. And look at the brush strokes that Monet has used to create different effects. This is a picture of the Grand Alley in one of Monet's gardens. Now let's have a look at the Impressionist painting that Monet painted of the same thing. Can you see how he's used different painting techniques to create this beautiful painting. Look how vibrant it is and full of colour. What techniques do you think he's used to create this effect? Let's look on. This is another picture that Monet has painted. It's something that he's painted but we're looking at it quite close up just to see the type of brush strokes that he's used and you can see it looks quite messy and it's difficult to tell what it might be. What do you think it could be a painting of? Let's just have a close look for a few seconds. Now let's see what it was a painting of. That was a painting of apple trees in bloom. So again, can you see the different technique Monet uses to paint the trees? He's used dabs of white paint to create the effect of the blossoms. This is a photograph of Monet's garden. Now let's have a look at his Impressionist painting of the same thing. Just looking at the picture, think about the different paint techniques he's used and how he's mixed in the different colours. On the left, you can see a photograph of Monet's garden. And on the right, you can see the Impressionist painting of Monet's garden. This is a picture of the very famous water lilies in his garden. Do you know that Monet began painting water lilies in 1829 and continued to paint them for 20 years? His paintings of water lilies are his most well-known artworks. Let's have a look at a painting of his water lilies. If you look closely at the painting, 
Can you see how Monet has tried to capture light and reflection on the surface of the water by using dabs of white paint? This was one of his favourite techniques to create the effect. This is another picture of the bridge in Monet's garden. And again, he's used the same technique. There's a lot of dabbing on paints and slightly mixing them up to get that effect of that 3D effect. I think he's done a very good job. What do you think? Monet's garden is now open to the public and visitors come from all over the world to enjoy it. So today you're going to paint like an impressionist. We're going to paint like Monet. We're going to use our fingers to recreate the famous painting of the bridge in his garden. Why do you think we're going to use our fingers to help us create the painting of the bridge. That's right, because we can use our fingers to dab on the white paint and the different colours to create the same effect that Monet painted. Look at the photo and colours of the bridge that Monet painted very carefully and then watch the link to see how to create your Monet piece of art. Have fun!